In today's video, we'll be talking about the ITEL A70 smartphone. Everyone has been talking about this phone, its special features, function, price, and a whole lot. But what we're going to be talking on this video is I'm going to give you a full insight on everything which you need to know about the ITEL A70 smartphone. What are the special features as advertised by ITEL? Is it truly awesome? And what are people saying concerning this ITEL smartphone and how true is it? What is my personal opinion on this ITEL smartphone? So I believe before the end of this video, I get to know a whole lot about this ITEL A70 smartphone. All you need to know and what you should expect and what are people actually saying about this phone. Don't change the channel. Stay tuned. So now, from what ITEL advertised, they said the ITEL A70 is a game changer in the world of affordable smartphones. It offers a compelling combination of performance, style, features, and making it the perfect choice for budget-conscious consumers who demand more from their mobile devices. With the A70, you won't have to compromise on quality or functionality. Experience the future in your hands without the hefty price tag. Get ready to be mind blown by the A70, where innovation meets affordability. We are going to dive into this video and explain everything in which they explain just on your screen. And I'm also going to give you a full insight on what people think about this phone, those that have bought this phone and those that have used it and what they are saying concerning this phone. The ITEL smartphone was launched in October 2023 and it comes in different colors which is the blue, gold, black and green which are the four different colors. Some of the features in which this phone comes with. This phone is built on Android 13. It comes with 3 to 4 gig RAM and also 128 to 250 gig internal storage which I think is very good because it's not all some of these latest phones in which you get at affordable price. It is sometimes difficult to get phones that comes with 128 gig and 256 gig. And the 256 gig is mainly common with the iPhone and some other mobile devices. But with affordability, is quite rare to get a phone of 256 gig. And the next thing you need to know about this phone is that it also comes with an SD card and this phone uses two micro nano SIM. So apart from the fact that it has a good storage, it also come, uses two SIM, which is I think which is what almost every phone in which you can get right now that is being built comes with. Most of the phones in which you get now comes with two SIM with one SD card slot in which you can also add an additional memory just in case the one on the phone is not enough for you depending on what you're doing with the phone so you can just add an extra micro sd card on it for you to get extra storage to store your files pictures video the videos and a whole lot and for the processing unit this phone comes with eight octa core central processing units and for the display it comes with 6.6 .6 inch and for this 6.6 .6 inch make sure you watch it till the end because some people have complained concerning this 6.6 .6 inch which i'm also going to be explaining to you and this is actually a 4g mobile handset it's not a 5g so if you are thinking of getting a 5g mobile handset even though by the way we don't have 5g services i think mtn has 5g services but it's not fully available for everyone and depending on the location which you find yourself that's when you can be able to use a 5g service and I think is actually okay once it is 4G, which is almost what almost everybody is using right now. And another thing I like about the iTel phone is that it uses the USB type C 2.0 charging system. Even though the battery, the charger is a watt, which is 10 watts, I think they would have improved on the charger so that it will be able to charge very fast. But with the 10 watts, it will charge, but it will not charge very fast. I think that is also the reason why they changed the charging system instead of the Android. They are taking out the Android system out of the process and bringing in the Type C USB Type C for usage. So I think is actually a good thing for ITEL to also transform their phone to be using the USB Type C 2.0 
charging system, but the charger is actually a problem, which is 10 watts. I think they need to improve on that. So now for the price of this one, you might be wondering, okay, with all these features and with all these other issues associated with this phone, what is actually the price? And for the international price, I'll be giving you the prices in Nigeria, in Ghana, in UK, and US. Now for Nigeria, this phone is going for 88 thousand uh, and for Ghana cities it's going for thousand one hundred um one hundred Ghana cities for UK it's going for seventy pounds but one thing you need to know about this item A70 smartphone is that because it comes on different RAM and different storage depending on the one which you are buying so which simply means their prices might not be the same thing so the prices will differ from each other depending on the storage and the RAM in which you are getting if it is three gig RAM or the four gig RAM you can they have different prices for each of these phones and if it is 128 gig or 256 gig internal storage they have different prices for these smartphones so it all depends on the storage and the ram which is actually on this phone now we have to go to the camera section what are the camera features in which this phone comes with it comes with an 8 megapixel front camera and 13 megapixel back camera which i think is actually good for either come advertising that this phone is a budget phone i think the 8 megapixel front camera and 13 megapixel back camera is actually okay and now for the camera features we have the auto focus we have the ai scene detection which i think is actually good then we also have the face detection or face id which is one of the special feature in which this itel a70 has i think it's rare for you to get an item phone that has a face id but this particular item phone has a face id and i actually like the design in which the face id was done when you are using it there's a way in which it displays which is this on your screen so it has its, its own special graphics effects which which was fixed on the face id it also have a self timer in which when you are making a video you can time yourself and it also has a very loud speaker it also has an fm radio which is i think is actually good for those that love listening to a radio maybe when you are less idle you can play your radio and listen to it but one thing i really don't like about the idle when you, while unboxing is the earpiece i think they should do something about the earpiece some of the earpiece they put on their phones while unboxing are work they are actually not good the earpiece i think they should do something concerning that and one of the most special feature in which i find on the itel a70 smartphone is the battery life apart from the face id i also like the battery life which is 5000 mah battery that's 5000 milliamp battery which simply means you can be able to use the phone the whole day and i think this is one of the special thing about itel smartphones their battery are really good it doesn't really easily go down while you're using it so you can charge the phone fully charge them you can be able to use it the whole day without it going off unlike some phone in which like i won't call names but i know that iphone is actually part of this problem whereby their battery doesn't stay that long when you charge your phone and i know a whole lot of people that use this iphone and while using it they also have power bank by the side and i know a whole lot of you will agree with me that this is actually what goes on when you are using iPhone. So for this iPhone phone, it comes with a 5000 mAh battery, which is actually good. I think it's actually recommended for iPhone increasing their battery lifespan. So I think this is one of the good things about the iPhone phone. Now for what people that have bought the phone are actually saying concerning this phone. So this is what people are actually saying concerning this phone nice one good job keep on itel itel improving your product try using mediatek processor and try to have front flash and also double tap feature and a little bit sharpness itel does have a front flash on the a70 itel really makes budget phones with this kind of specs it's really op this other one says itel with their funny ways of producing phones an amulet phone using 400 nits at this present age. We tweeting I tell don't show me for this life eh? Even if they dash me, I tell what's one million naira, I go on. I tell tormented my life. Nice one, dear I tell keep it up. 
Aita helped me when I was broke. This would have been better with a 6.8-1080 by 24-60 screen, center punch hole, front camera, metal frame. It would have been more attractive. And from what you can see, you can see there's also there's a whole lot of different opinion depending on those that have used ITEL phones before and those that are actually using the ITEL A70 smartphone. There's both the good the bad and the ugly part of it and i think it's common everywhere not just on this comment people have different opinion and everyone is entitled to their personal opinion concerning whatsoever they wish to use or not to wish to use so that's just it on the comments now for my personal opinion on what i think concerning this item is 70 smartphone i think it's actually good people understand why i tell is producing these phones number one some of the reason why they are producing this phone is number one is budget friendly number two it has functionalities without breaking your bank then the third one is quality smartphone what it simply means is that it's giving people the opportunity to use multi functionality smartphone without breaking their bank it's actually helping people to save money while you still make use and enjoy all the functionalities in which you can get on flagship phones all the functionalities in which you get on flagship phones you also you get to enjoy all these functionalities the face id the story the ram and the whole lot you get to enjoy all these functionalities on this budget smartphone i think is that is actually what itel phones are made for is mainly made for budget friendly but some of the problems i have with budget friendly smartphone is this some of these phones are not of high quality and some of these phones while using it it can just go off i've seen people complain that their phone while on charge just went off without their notice and that was the end of these phones and i think this is actually something i don't need to work on some of these budget phones some of the problems they have is while performing functions do they work very well especially while you're playing game or performing multi-functionalities on your mobile phone does this phone do they work or function very well while using it maybe or can they perform multiple tasks without freezing or a whole lot there's a whole lot of issues in which you you get on these budget friendly smartphones while using them especially on gaming and performing multi-functions does it get freeze frozen while using it or is there any other issue associated with these phones for these questions we can't know all these now but time will tell